powered by Virginia Radio. What's good? We rocking with Power by Virginia. Living beyond our scars. My name is Kia Murray. We're going to be talking to you about a couple of things tonight. See, this weekend to me is a powerful weekend. We have Juneteenth falling on Father's Day, which also is World National Sickle Cell Day. So with all three of those things combined, can we not see what is, is trying to happen before us? Because I'm trying to tell you, I have questions, and you can call in, and you can <laughs> ask us whatever, but I have my co-host with me for Teacher Parker, Petey, as I've always known her. You know what I mean? We grew up together. Let, let's, let's make it clear. They can ask you anything. Be careful what you say to me. <laughs> Why they got to be careful what they say to you? Because they might fuck around turn on you. Hmm? Just be careful. What they say to you? Yes, yes. Talk to me nice. They're going to talk to you nice. Okay. They're going to talk to you nice. I'm going to start drinking now. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so I mean... This, I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> See, this, this is how she going to act. <laughs> This is how she going to act. But, listen, it is what it is. I'm here. I said I was going to come down. Didn't know what condition I was going to come down on, but I came down. You're here. And she came to see me. As ever. Thank you. Thank you. That's Your feet still big... swing from a chair, but... You know. <laughs> it's okay that I'm short. There's nothing wrong with being short. There's a lot of power <laughs> packed in that body, uh, that little teeny frame. It's a lot of power. <laughs> woman power, like you, you're a strong, strong, strong black woman. I appreciate I'll give you that. You are too, though. For you to be younger than me, I, like you do inspire me. You do. You're, you're very strong. And I think that's part of the, the reason I love you so much. I love you mm -hmm. too. Tell. Tell well, see, when I was a little girl, for. right? We not supposed to tell all the secrets. Okay, so what oh, we Jesus. came here for, right, <laughs> is this. We're going to talk about, I'm going to say Father's Day, because I got questions. <laughs> and I'm going to ask these questions. These questions, is I'm trying to figure out <laughs> why is the number one question is going to be this. Why do these little girls think that holding a child from their father is going to change anything? He's still the father. Yeah he's still the, yeah. he's still the father. And at the end of the day, you're only hurting your child. You're not hurting that man. You're not hurting you're the giving, man at all. You're giving all. him freedom, actually. Because the more y'all, y'all, the more you do screaming, yes, hollering. So you're going to hurt that man. Like, you're going to hurt that child. You're going to hurt the child. You're going to hurt the, the child more than you hurt anything. The only person in this situation going to be hurt is the child. Then I want to know, why do y'all call yourselves the father? What do you know about a man that I don't know that, you know, I, mean? I can't be my son's father's. And we can't. I can't be my son's father's. Mm -hmm. I can only train them to, you know, be on the caring, emotional, nurturing side. I don't know how to teach them how but to then, be. But then them, them punk ass niggas out in the streets, them same ones that's out there killing people, call the ones that's loving and nurturing because they, they were raised on their women. They call them pussies, little punk ass kids. Like they, I don't know, the world fucked up, so. It is. And know. and it's not, I'm not even going to say that it is because we can change when we change our mentality. Yeah, we can change our mentality, but. It's our mentality. We can't change that. Bob, Dick, Harry, JoJo, little baby bop over here to everybody saying free him that killed 22 people. We like, we can't change their mentality. We can change ours. We can't. We can't. We, as we, if we pull together as one, as a community, and get on the same accord on how to raise our children, you know what I mean? Because, like, a lot of people have grown away from, you know, the, the standards that we used to have when we were growing up. 
Facts. Being by the street lights. What, you know what I mean? Kids running around 10, 11 o'clock and they in elementary school. I'm not understanding. You know why? They are this motherfucker. They, they're, 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 they're child, they best friends. They going to the club together. They shaking their ass together. They making videos together. They doing Twerking. the absolute motherfucking mer- whoop most out here. They Like they doing everything with their kids. They even fucking the same nigga. Or fucking the mom fucking this one and, and the daughter fucking that one and they best friends and like it, it's just it's, it's a lot it's a lot. It's, See, it's I don't a lot. know like about you know all that but I just know that. It, have you seen we, what's going on in these we streets? We can we can really like really it's it's a lot of people that's out here that are great people that are being overlooked. You know and why? We, Those good people, the ones who are out there vouching for us pushing us they're hiding them they're not coming out you know why because when they do they they chastise and people come at them sideways and they get hurt people use them they it's, it's but that's lot. when you got to learn like self-care of how to get over you know what i mean like we got to we pick and choose sometimes on the things that we want to let go of or what we want to keep on to and stuff like that. That's true. You know what I mean? And a lot of people are dealing with a lot of trauma from childhood. That's you true. You know what I mean? And then some of them are still dealing with the fact, you know, with Father's Day coming up, you know what I mean? My dad was never in my life. And how do they know if your dad is paying child support, your dad is in your life? So I don't know where yeah, that's, that's getting that's twisted the stupid, at. That's the stupidest shit. I've, I've ever heard in my entire life. See, she keep it real. I ever heard. And I'm going to Because at the end of the day, don't get me wrong. If that father is like absolutely a deadbeat and you have no choice but to put no him on choice. child support, then you do that. But if you're just doing it because you just don't want to let the nigga go, like you just can't Better. let the fuck go, then there's a problem. There's a problem. There's a disconnect. Something is wrong with you. It doesn't take much to raise a child other than the, the parents just having an understanding. You don't have to be fucking to raise a child. At all. You ain't got to be friends. You ain't got, All you got to do is be cordial. The word cordial and the word friends is two different things. How about that? But even two separate things. But even that, sometimes you don't even want to be bothered that you don't even want to call somebody your friend. You know what I mean? Because your friend should end up becoming your sisters, your queen, somebody right. that you can look up to, right. somebody that you can pull from, draw from, right. somebody that inspire you. Like you said, I inspire you, and I, you know what I mean? Like at a, at that a means young a age, to she's me. actually, you're younger than me, and that means a lot I, to I me. I see your fight. I've seen your fight since you were a little girl. Like, I've, I've been in your life for a, a very long time. And you've been in my life a very long time. So, like, I've seen your struggles. I know what you dealt with. You know some of what I dealt with. But I, I just had a conversation. Okay. I had a conversation the other day. I was asked why I had an issue with my son being taught about the LGBTQTRG, whatever the fuck it's called, H1N1, whatever it shit's called. We were having a discussion about that, and I said, well, if, if my son is whatever he is, I'm going to love him. But at the end of the day, I think it should be my choice whether I would like to talk to my son about it before the school. Or anybody else. Like, I don't feel like... I got a letter in the mail about my son having a class about the LGBTQ... What's, what's the other alphabet numbers? Mm, yeah. Th- those. Yeah. Okay. I refuse to sign it. Me and my son are close enough for me to have that conversation my, on our own. I don't need you, like, having my son in front of 30 other kids talking about his sexuality. That's well, that's none of y'all business. Nowadays, that sexuality they are allowing to happen right okay. before their eyes in the schools now. The only the only reason things work kind of before is because nobody really cared about your sexuality back in the day. 
now everybody's concerned. I can't be your friend because you're gay. That's not how friendship works. But that That's happened not. way before time, though. That happened before we even were created. So, you know what I mean? It's always been upon this earth. It is. But unless you care about what somebody else is eating or fucking or sucking, then, like, what business is it of, of yours? Mind your business. I could be friends with you for 20 years and not know your sexuality and not fucking care. I wouldn't even care. I, I like I don't if I say I'm your friend it's because I fuck with you and it's something about you that I love genuinely I don't love you because you're a Christian I don't love you because you're not a Christian I don't love you because you, you might spit in your mouth and or like you might lick ass I don't know but you know you, in all in all nationality that's how it's supposed to be I don't see none of that other shit I don't care what you do outside of our friendship because our friendship is our friendship it's our friendship it has nothing to do. I don't care if you fuck Sally, Bob, Sue, Craig, and them. I don't care about none of that. Like, w whatever you do in your personal life, that is your life. I can't tell you how to live your life. You can't you tell me how, how to, to run live mine. mine. So don't stand over there and judge me. Like, then the only time I might kind of give my opinion if you ask is if you say, girl, do I look cute in this outfit? But you're supposed and to. And I'm so like, you're oh, bitch, to? no. Those are by ones here, ones there. I don't want to do that. Please don't do that. <laughs> That's the only time, like, you should ever give a, like, anything in a friendship. Like, for real. Like, you should love a person generally for who they are. That's At it. At all times. That is all. At all times. And that's what we're trying to really bring back into our community. You know what I mean? So that's why it has to be one to take time out to be with somebody else. Because mental health is real. It is. And kids are are really going through mental health situations. Like, you, you would not believe I, what I half gonna, of these I kids are really out here going through. Their parents not home with them. You know, I, I, and they, in, in my mind, I think, personally, mental home. health come from Allowing somebody else to mind your business and tell you how to handle oh, yeah, your yourself. business. When they never been through nothing you've yeah, been through. When, when you listen to what everybody else say, it will make you like fucking insane and just like, like I'm going to kill myself because they say I'm fat. No, they told you you was fat and then you start believing you was fat or you started living fat. <laughs> like, So you are what you think. You did not know you was fat until somebody called you fat. You didn't know you was light skinned until somebody said, I ain't, I ain't like that bright ass nigga. <laughs> you didn't know you was light skinned. You knew you was a person walking around getting to know people. You didn't know you was a fucking light skinned ass nigga. And probably not even light skinned, just calling himself light skinned. Girl, I didn't know I was a fat bitch till my first argument. My first fucking fight, that's when I found out I was a fat bitch. I was like, I know this fat bitch ain't out here. I felt like, asleep. what? I fell asleep. <laughs> I fell asleep. I didn't even know that shit. I did not know that I was a fat bitch. <laughs> Falling asleep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't know it. I thought I felt like my mom pussy looking like Nicki Minaj. I didn't know that. I did not know I was a fat bitch till they told me. See, this is but now why. I, you know. <laughs> this is why I can't. I can't deal with her. But I've done dealt with her all my life. All your life, you had to fight. I feel like Celia, <laughs> Mister M I S T E R. Period. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm saying, like, we're just speaking some real stuff because this is what's going on in this world, and that's why, like, a part of it is corrupt. Look, just get high, fuck, and just, like, live life. It's too short. Like, just fucking have fucking fun all no, day, every no, day. No. When I tell you every day of my life, no, I just fucking no. have fun. I don't care. No, 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 no. It's not too much that's going to make me mad. Just fucking have fun. What's <laughs> wrong with everybody? Just be happy. Just be happy. There's nothing wrong with it. Because guess what? God didn't give us the minute, the hour, 
Nothing. We could be here today, gone tomorrow. And so, your last days, you just spent mad, angry. <laughs> so we're going to convert over to, you know, speaking about, like I said, with Juneteenth coming. Fucking national, World National Sickle Cell Day mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. Father's Day on the 19th. That means something. This is like yes. everybody should be happy right now. Everybody should be celebrating because we are seeing freedom within ourselves. We don't need nobody to tell us that we're great. We don't need Mm-mm. nobody to tell us who we are. We don't need nobody to tell us where we need to go. We're not slaves. Period. We got to get out of that mentality. Hey, I don't even think I could be a slave. I'd have been fucked up first day. First day. I got too much mouth. <laughs> Too much mouth, and my hands stay on go. Like they stay ain't ready. I'd have, I'd have been gone from the gate. Y'all have been staying there, picking y'all kind of like it's fucked up. We have a pee. You know what? Massa whoop pee. See, and that's why it's great to have bonds with people. People that's genuine, people that, you know, you can just be yourself around. Mm -hmm. Because if you get around people that's hating on you and you don't (laughs) understand why they hating on you, something ain't right. (laughs) You got to let them people be mad by themselves. They be looking at you like, look at at her with her (laughs) fake ass Jordans on. (laughs) Why she got her hair like that? (laughs) What's wrong with her? Who told her to put that lip gloss on? <laughs> the fuck for why? <laughs> <laughs> it's no reason for it. We queens out here. Oh, and we God. have to really show our beauty within ourselves. Like, it is so much to do. Everybody can eat. Hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Like, never never that, forget if, where if you, you came from. You get rid of from. that mentality. Get rid of that mentality. And that stigmatism that that black people have that we're supposed to be. Stop letting everybody tell you you're supposed to be a hood nigga. You're supposed to wear your pants sagging tight as a bitch. Can't breathe. Trying to fight. Fall down. you like a penguin out here in the streets. Fucking fighting with tight ass. I got off subject. Anyway, (laughs) y'all know what I mean. You know what I mean. Stop the shit. Put the guns down. Literally. Just live life, love each the other. Guns down, because like it's gonna be, it's gonna be a lot more podcasts coming from different areas and stuff like, and things like that. Where I will be um, interviewing some sickle cell patients, some sickle cell warriors, some that you know really are out here doing our thing. You feel me? Like we don't let nothing hold us down, that's and that's what makes me so proud of the things that I see going on because a lot of people are not educated enough to tell the doctors that they need to get their babies tested at birth. If you have any type of African American descendant in you, get your babies tested for sickle cell anemia, sickle cell beta thalassemia. Catch this stuff early because they have treatments now. They have things that can help your child live I mean, I'm not going to never say I'm giving up. But what I'm going to say is this, when it's my time to go, I'm going to go prepared knowing that I did everything that I could do to make sure my kids ate. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to pull together, and we're going to start doing things like in different na- in different states, trying to bring sickle cell you know, awareness to our, our people. We are uneducated out here. You know why they are uneducated? Because they don't care until they hit home. That's the problem with society. That's the problem with people, period. There's no compassion. There's no love. Nobody fucking cares because it's not at their doorsteps. And that's true. In the moment that it is, they advocate. Then they out there. But then it hurts when we see diabetes and i'm gonna be i'm gonna be for real on this everything out there this gonna be real deep though i'm getting tired of seeing diabetes cancer anything arthritis all these mental 
conditions that they're putting on our black people. Mm -hmm. I'm getting tired of seeing those diseases that are man-made get treated like they're better than sickle cell because it was created by God. We got to eat herbs, y'all. We got to do what's best for us. That's a fact. We can't be out here just, like, living, you know what I mean? Do what's best for you. But what I will say is, win yourself. Win yourself off the chemicals. You'll find yourself living a more healthier, better life. For real, for real, off of everything, because... I, at the end of the day, there's a whole lot of shit going on behind the scenes with the government and all kinds of other bullshit. Let's just be real about that. The government hires scientists. They go on the lab. They create some shit. They bring it back to us. We They test dummies. Now we got what? A pandemic, all kinds of bullshit going on. People catching all kinds of random disease that you can only get if you're a certain race or if you're a certain height or a certain... Like, it, it, come on, make it make sense. Like it's a lot of shit that we're allowing our government to do. We're allowing these moguls and rich ass people to do to us. Well, the thing of it is, is that we can pull together as a unity. We, we can, can pull together as a unity, and we can get some things done. And we can. We're seeing our young black kings and queens come through college more and more and more and more. We're seeing what the world is getting ready to go into. Why? Because they have the tenacity to do it. They do. So we as our parents have to stay on their backs. Not even that, like our young ones. We got to put them into other things, just like with the um, event that was do- we did today. That was an awesome event. It I was, was mad I was at work. It was an awesome event. And that's okay because well, you're here now, though, because you did hit me up. And I she didn't thought I was the when you hit me on the front like you thought I was playing. Like, you, know, <laughs> you know what I feel. You know how I feel about you, nigga. So she did come through. How many bitches have I punched the mouth for you? <laughs> oh, wait, I said it on camera. Oh, fuck yeah, yeah we erased that part. Go back. Like, camera mind. I did not put hands on anyone. I'll just put that on the record. You was very protective of me. Very. Still am to a certain extent. I mean, you I know you gotta live your life, but. You know, when beef pop off, I be like, on my phone, like, <laughs> JR, I think I got to go down. <laughs> I don't even do beef, though. I do my best to stay out of it, find a different solution, because that's not even worth your energy anymore. It's not. The only, it's a, you fighting only proves one motherfucking thing. This is why I stopped fighting. And anybody know me know that, I'm on camera. Never mind. <laughs> Fighting proves one thing. That I can kick your ass. But you still gonna get up and be the same person you was before I fought you, so what What's the, the fuck point? is the point? What's the point? Waste the energy. Okay, so I say this, because they, they can't see me, right? Nobody seen me yet. But You've okay. been seen. Fuck, <gasps> shit. <sighs> no, nothing. <laughs> Okay, so right. Once upon a time, picture it, Sicily, nineteen forty-four. Right. We outside the circle, and I had told this girl. I kept telling us, "This, you know, stop tricking and selling drugs in front of my house, because I can get evicted if you get caught. Even though you're not my motherfucking friend, you don't live here, and like none of that. I can get evicted. Stop doing this shit." I had to go to, to a doctor's appointment. Oh, I got pee. Me too, nigga. I got to burp. <laughs> <laughs> Do the commercial break. Here. Come over here and be like, Oh, we'll be right back. <laughs> Stop it. And we're back with Paul and Bob Virginia. <laughs> Living beyond our scars. And like I said, we were talking about... um. We were talking about <laughs> Juneteenth, Father's Day, and World National Sickle Cell Day. You know what I mean? 
driving it. And I had to just, you know, <laughs> pardon myself. <laughs> but anyway. So like us like I'm I mean, like we've been talking about like with sickle cell, like we really have to educate ourselves and we really have to pull together because mm-hmm. It's not a life that nobody wants to ever live. It's not a life that nobody wants to ever, you know, have to really go through. Like, I would never want to put none of my kids through anything that I had to go through when it came to living with that disease. It's not easy to manage, and it's not easy to take care of. But I will tell you this. We got to keep living beyond our scars. We got to keep moving forward. We got to keep showing these doctors that we can do it. We can make it. We can, you know what I mean, beat this thing. There are times we might have breakdowns and, you know, pains and issues and things like that, but we have to find other ways than keep going in and out the hospital, like changing our diets. So, I mean, like, this is going to be a lot of stuff coming you know what I mean, to this podcast. I'm going to have some it's crazy like people on here. Jam, <laughs> <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> she heard you. <laughs> no, but we're going to keep, you know what I mean, pushing for, for a lot. I mean, and it all, all it takes is us to start working together. And pulling each other up, helping That's each other. That's what we got out here is each other. If people just wake up and realize that, stop being stupid all your life. There's a whole lot of uh, mis miscommunication, mis uh, all kinds of shit out here. Like it's going on. Family members, sh- strangers, every like. I got people who I, I don't even know that treat me better than people I've known my entire life. They won't support me. And I've seen you go through that. I've seen you deal with it. That's why I said you're one of the strongest women I know. You dealt with a lot of stuff and endured a lot of I'm not doing a lot. I'm doing just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a little bit. <laughs> I ain't doing a lot. I just gotta keep pushing. Gotta keep maintaining. Like, like, wow, I'm super woman. I mean, I take that cape and keep right on with marching. In life, that's what they expect us to be anyway. We women. We already expected to be strong. But you know what? I love it here. But you know what? I'm getting comfortable. B-A. 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 I'm getting comfortable. Welcome to Vegas, baby. <laughs> <laughs> give me daddy, give me Ruby. <laughs> <laughs> the <It's a laughs> <laughs> Man, listen. Anything else you need to say? Make the move. Do what you got to, like, be free. Do what you want to do in life. I'm doing it. Do what you want to do. But uh, you've been telling me, look, right before my son's graduation, me and you had, like, real long conversation. Mm. Both of us, like, we tired of this shit. I'm, I'm fed up. Like, I got to go. I'm ready to move. We've been talking about moving since probably before... I lived over top the, the antique shop. We've been talking about that shit forever. Ever. ever and ever. We was all skipping school at my house. And, oh, let me. That, you talking too much. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Shh, that didn't happen. Okay. Anyway, we was doing some shit and having fun. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I was a good girl. <laughs> me too. Except so. I think I had a halo. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. And the- um, yeah, so, because I was a cheerleader. <laughs> <laughs> I got kicked off at every team I've ever joined, so. They, they was hating. 
<laughs> okay, so go back to what you were saying. <laughs> Way before, like, we, we used to talk about this shit way back in the day. Before we were 18. Mm-hmm. I had a child, so I was a little hot in the ass. So, but, yeah, you know, anyway. What is still holding you there? Ain't nothing holding me there. What's holding you back, period? That's not what you want. That's not what you want. I've known you a long time, kid. Long fucking time. I'm already on it. Not what you want. Not what you want. You don't even want Cambridge. You don't want Merlin. You don't want that. Like, I know you. You want to. God. Soar. And it's far, coming. Far, far away. <laughs> and it's coming. I do. If I, I could put a middle you. finger on my tag when I drove from Delaware to Virginia, my <laughs> tag could have just been a middle finger. That's what the fuck I would have got. Hey, <laughs> fuck you. <yeah>. Bye. <laughs> Bye. I'm out. I don't see none of y'all no more. Fuck y'all. When I go back to Delaware, I ride by their house and say, fuck y'all. And, and, and she mean that. I meant that everywhere. <laughs> she mean that. Word for word. <laughs> you don't even need a little bouncy ball. I meant that word for fucking word. But you know, it's, it all takes time too because it's a fact. You know, when you're doing it on your own and you're a single mom, I mean, you gotta work different avenues just to get what you gotta get to get to where you need to be. Yeah, I was so desperate to get out of Virginia. I would have came to Virginia, got on a motherfucking stripper pole, and looked like Rasputia coming down that motherfucker. Like, I didn't give a Fuck, fuck Delaware, fuck all those motherfuckers that's there, like, fuck them. They don't want no better in life than what they have. They are comfortable with that shit. Me as a child growing up, cause you, you know me, I, I, I I'd have done some shit. Uh, I wasn't comfortable just being complacent right there. Like, I wasn't comfortable with that. I wasn't comfortable. I'm like, there is so much in the world. There's so much out here, so much to see, so much to do. And it's coming. But I don't want to leave Coverdale. I've been in Coverdale for 68 years. Like, who the fuck? (laughs) I don't don't want to do that. I don't want that to be part of my life. Just stuck. Stuck in a spot. I'm not stuck. I know you're not. (laughs) Nigga, you've been way more places than me. <laughs> I'm like, shit, kid going again. Fuck. She got good gas mileage on her car. She likes to ride. <laughs> I, what did I tell you? I look at my gas hand like, man, I'm just going to go roll blunt. The gas is high. We Maybe we don't need to travel this week. <laughs> <laughs> see, well, see, we can just when, get high and we can travel that way. you have purpose over your life, you can't just do anything. I've been every place in the world while I was high. <laughs> So, I ain't even got to go nowhere. <laughs> I ain't got to go nowhere. I'm good. <laughs> and you know, I said, I'll come down here. Yeah, Didn't yeah. know that we was going to all link like this. But, I mean, we here. We here. Family. As always. So, you know what I mean? Which is crazy because <laughs> I was very, very overprotective of you as a young girl. And did not even know we was related, for real. Until we got grown. Until we got Until grown. Until we got grown. I was like, shit, you, we related for real? <laughs> <laughs> it's just funny how life evolves. Yeah. It, it, it really is. Who would have thought? And we like, would and be we where still... we are. <laughs> now. <laughs> now. Nigga, I didn't think I was going to make it out of the jail cell that, that, that one night, so... Oh my gosh. I'm happy to be here at 42 years old. 42. I never thought I'd say those words out loud, but. <laughs> 40 motherfucking. <coughs> two, look, I, I didn't know. I didn't know you had gray hairs in the area code. <laughs> yes, bro. Yes. I looked in there and said, What the fuck? <laughs> this can't be life. <laughs> Call the ambulance. 
I think I need to go to the doctor. <laughs> get, get <checked. laughs> Something's not right. <laughs> it's turning white. So, so this is where you say when people have a bond, you, it's possible to have a bond. It is. You know what I mean? But you don't, you know, and we distance. We don't talk every day. And don't. But when she knows something is wrong, wrong, she hitting me up. You know, I'm coming through anytime. I seen times where you in the hospital and yeah, you just, you know, I vibe off of energy. So I pull up and we laugh so motherfucking hard in them hospitals. Who else could talk? <laughs> Me and that bitch tripping. <laughs> and I gotta keep saying, shit, she's sick. I can't make it. <laughs> <laughs> and me but right crazy just letting her sit there and like say the whatever she medicine. wanted to say. It's always been her. Laughter is the best medicine in the world. Like, you live life with your drawers bunched up your ass <laughs> all the motherfucking time. You hurt all the time. Sucking you on lemons. It, it takes too much energy for that. Just wake up. <laughs> I'm mad. <laughs> you want to be angry. <laughs> for running this guy's ass. <laughs> I'm just mad. <laughs> Who the fuck? Like, takes much, too much energy. Not doing it. Not doing none of that. Just takes too much. Being happy takes like an ounce of just, you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> I don't care. That's all it takes to be happy. Just say fuck. You're not in my business. I'm not in your business. It's. You might have scuffed my sneakers a little bit, but guess what? Yeah, they're sneakers. I don't give a fuck. Keep moving. And that's how it should be. Love. Love covers a multitude of sins. And then you just can't feed into negative <laughs> people, negative vibes, negative energy. You can't feed into it. Because otherwise, talk, say, you need to talk this much. If a person walk up to you and they just like mad as shit, and then you entertain them, she when you walk off, you're mad as shit. <laughs> but if a person walk up to you mad as shit and you just like fucking happy, like, hey, like, do what? <laughs> Did they you, gonna walk did you off notice how scared you she was happy. trying to get on here? Now she, now she on here comfortable, comfortable. No, I'm high, dude. I twitched out. <laughs> Give me fucking weed. And then I drank all my liquor. Now I'm drinking the liquor ice. <laughs> it's not my fault. I told you don't do this. You know my fault. You know I love word. you. That's why, you know what I mean? As long as you talk to me, I'm going to talk to you. I and we literally waited for you to get here I, I before see, I even I, started. So you had this plan now. <laughs> we actually <laughs> didn't. We actually <laughs> didn't. Yeah, <laughs> this is plan. I put my. You see, I did that. <laughs> Let me earn my lips up. I mean, but you hear though. You know I was coming. I told him, come on, we got to go. <laughs> He's like, no. I was like, I don't understand the word. Come on, we got to go. I'm down here. So, it, okay. Let's touch on that subject for a minute. Oh, gosh. When your spouse tells you no. Listen. Is that not Do not saying, indulge break up in like any conversations. I just want to say, I don't want to speak on it. I, I want to say, I want to speak on it. What you want to speak on? If your spouse says no, mm -hmm. that means they want to break up. They, they don't want to be together no more. <laughs> no, right? that does not that's mean that. that no, that, that's, that does that's not. exactly what they mean. That does not mean that. <laughs> Why are you so crazy? You know that's not that's what, what that, that means. means. What is that word? Like, <laughs> what does that mean? Somebody give me the definition of no. There is none. What he said. <laughs> There's no definition of that word. <laughs> Not in your house. It doesn't exist. It just doesn't exist. Go get a Webster dictionary. You can't because there are no more left. <laughs> it doesn't exist. You can't believe Google. They don't know. Oh, back to you. So now she won't get back on me. <laughs> 
Because I'm going to let him talk. You didn't want to hear it. I'm going to let him talk. Either way, he don't love me, he don't, and he want to leave. That's what he said. And he said no. You be saying that. <laughs> he <No>. just. <laughs> Why is he saying that, though? I don't like that word. I don't like it. I don't understand it. It shouldn't be in the dictionary. If toddlers can say it, it should be banned. That's like their first word now. So now we now we putting the kids in it. Yeah. So now the kids, if the kids had to say no, that's then that's a childish word. Like, <laughs> it's a childish <laughs> word. Kids can say it, it's childish. I'm not doing it. <laughs> Don't understand it. Anything else you want to know? Nobody answered the question. Isn't it wrong? Is it like he's wrong? Right? He's wrong. Okay. Yeah. I can't agree with that. It's, <laughs> I'm sorry, you want me? I don't take sides. This, this, right is right, wrong he, is wrong. He's wrong. Right is right, wrong is wrong. No, and I'm right. He should no, not tell not. me no. Do you tell him no? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't come yeah. out and directly say no. I give him a statement. His face don't say that. <laughs> I didn't say no. I give him. <laughs> I didn't. I never told him no. I don't say no. No, I don't say no. I just like you know. I can't see right now. Like, or I'm hot up. I'm drunk. That's not a no. It's just like I. I just like physically can't do it. Right now. I don't tell him no though. So it's not a word. I stand with my argument. <laughs> <coughs> and I think I have a valuable, like most women out there feel that way when it comes to their spouse. Like you're not just a nigga, nigga. I slept with you last night. You don't tell me nothing. I don't give a fuck. We ain't fuck or not. I slobber on your arm. That means you're mine. <laughs> like. So, a slobbering arm. Slobbering arm a little bit. Wait, ladies, y'all. Mark my yeah, but don't, don't teach so, these ladies that because it's a lot of slobbering on arms going on. I mean, but I got to slobber on your arm for a period of time. So, like, you, can, you can't tell ladies that because then they're going to think they own that man. I can't, and get I can't beat slobber up. on your I can't slobber on your arm that night. But if I <laughs> slobber on your arm for a couple years, then you might. Like, I had to mark my territory like a dog. <laughs> my spot. <laughs> that right arm right here. That's my head in, in, is imprinted right there. Like, that's why I love you, man. <laughs> so you're not gonna tell me you're just like no. It's not like that. So okay, so you telling me right now, like <laughs> how long y'all got to be together for you to call him yours? After mm. you done slap it on his arm. Was that many years? Well, I think I officially claimed him once he put that big ass head child in me. So that was about seven years because we was pretending we was roommates for seven. I remember that. <laughs> mm-hmm. I, rem- I sure do. I remember them ride out there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he. Yeah, roommates. He mm. pretended. Everybody knew, but <laughs> so, and then I got pregnant on a night where I was like, "Fuck you, nigga." Well, it wasn't even a night. I know because I had to come out. We there. hadn't talked like a month, but he was still living in my house. I had to come out there. I remember. And he was talking. Cause shit we was gonna night. knock you out. <laughs> he don't be wanting to see me though. He don't want to see me. <laughs> Mad as a bitch is it? Yeah, she was. She was hurt. And then when she hurt, I was hurt a little bit. Then his leave. ass was talking shit one night. And I was drunk. I came home, he was naked, and shit happened. Like Yeah, that's what she told me to in the story. He claims he been saying he been raped for eighteen years. I guess he got like <laughs> he think <laughs> he got a case. It he caught that. <laughs> He has been screaming rape for 18 years. 
but you can't rape the women. Let's talk about that. <laughs> she here and bring you out. Can you say that you have been raped if your dick continuously gets hard and it's ready? Like, how is that <laughs> rape? If you get, like, you can't rape the willing. He wasn't laying there and said, oh, no, stop. He wasn't doing that. <laughs> So you mean to tell me that we're going to have this conversation? I don't want to talk about that shit. Is it rape if it's kind of consensual? Kind of consensual. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell y'all something. This is just what I love. I love energy. <laughs> what? What's the... We try not to get on you the conversation. You wasn't asleep, sir. You were naked, and your dick was standing up. <laughs> the condom was at the head of the bed. You forgot to get the condom, and I jumped on it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened. I do not want to know how my I son spent was created. I spent the night in your room while I my other baby dad was in my other room. I don't want to know how my son was created. That that's the part that I left out. <laughs> oh wait, Raekwon Dad was in my bedroom wait, in wait. my bed, and I was in the room across the hall in his bed. <laughs> it's complicated. I told you we was pretending we was roommates. <laughs> and you know what's crazy? <laughs> <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> I told you this was going to happen. I apologize. <laughs> Your fault, man. <laughs> what? What's the point? <laughs> you don't tell you don't never tell your girlfriend's business. Yeah. yeah. So like Oh, they ain't got ain't no shame in my game. You know, I have never did anything in secret, ever, ever. I want you to know I did it. See, but I that was your problem. You but it. that's what I'm saying. I didn't. That ain't what we do. Yeah, I don't give a fuck if you know I did it. I write it down for you. I write a statement. I, I don't need a nigga snitch on me. I tell him my damn self. I'm proud of everything I did. Now y'all see why she was so protective of me. The one thing we gotta do is stop like living in our mistakes, our regrets, our pain. Our... At the end of the day, we all been through it some shit. It is what it is. We done grew up, like changed the mentality of being back in the childhood days. Yes, we you can't, can't hold live on to that. You can't hold on to it. Like, you have to confront your past, then mm-hmm. go confront your past. Go apologize for something you did wrong. You know what I mean? But go thank somebody for what you did right. Like, moving on. Just reverse it. Once you reverse it, keep moving forward. Yeah. We can't be out here doing this. Like, you gotta we turn breaking your pain each into other power up. Some type of way. <laughs> Always you turn your pain into power. What the world? You got the light out. Try to light the blood. Look at something. See, she crazy. I like you didn't know that. But that's why I love her. And that's why I wanted this weekend to be special. <coughs> but, nigga. Because so many people were supposed to come with me. But that I had her who he needed me Seriously? with. Seriously? And I love it. Because when you have genuine people on your side, you really don't get to acknowledge them the way you want to acknowledge them. So what better way to not acknowledge, Shit fire. you know, somebody that I don't know? <laughs> <laughs> that I don't know, like, basically all my life for my first podcast. You know what I mean? Like, she means a lot. So, like, I keep Shit. those close to me, close to me. This thing is I keep them close to me. So, you know what I mean? I try to protect them, but I'll never forget about them. Mm-mm. Nope. You got me on here. So, <laughs> I know yeah, I good. did. And I thank you for coming out. 
I thank, I thank you, you for, for being inviting here. me. I wanted to see you, period. I know. As soon as I, I think you was here. Surprise. Yes. I'm glad to see you, period. Because you already know how life has been. Not all over the place. But. But you know what? <clears throat> you got to keep the focus forward every day every day i wake up every day positive happy you can't tell me i don't shit skittles <laughs> and taste the <laughs> rainbow <laughs> <laughs> shit. i'm happy every motherfucking day of my life i don't let anything make me mad because i know me when i get mad i go too far i want to tear I shit up i want to fight like i just I think that's a lot of people i can't think when i'm mad i can't like my mind's all over the place and all i think is destructive thoughts and most of the time i wind up tearing up more of my shit than their shit mm-hmm. and that's how you usually be because it's so built up inside so i just don't even let nobody get like i don't mm-hmm. the only person in this world right now it's only three people who can piss me off right now that's him and my two kids. Well, and his kids too. They can piss me, the kids can piss us off. They can piss me all the way off. Especially that young one, that nigga. Oh, we have to have a conversation. I'm about to say, we have more of these to come. Yeah, I'm gonna get him an exorcism. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, next. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Man, listen, these kids are something else. Oh my gosh, they are. These are these new and improved. Like these motherfuckers, I think they bought gas prices and COVID here. These niggas, they come out different. <laughs> different. Yeah. Listen, smarter. These motherfuckers wear jackets and hoodies in the summertime. Nigga, it's a hundred and four. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Why you ain't had a straight uh, heat stroke yet? Like, <laughs> nigga, <laughs> you hydrated? <laughs> These kids are different. And we out here trying to get, we out here trying to get air conditioning. They, will. <laughs> nigga, I'm taking little Bobby, little Johnny, Javante. All I'm taking all the motherfuckers to Social Security. And I'm trying to get checked for everybody, kids. Everybody, <laughs> I think every child born at the probably the late nineties, late ninety nine, two thousand. That late that and. I, Back that ass fucked the generation up. You know Spice that. kids fucked up. When they came in from the 99 to 2000, and them kids was born, these motherfuckers was fucked up. <laughs> They've been here before. My son came out with a retractable neck, feeling on titties. <laughs> 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 and he was smoking weed in the womb, so. Well, that was a natural. I don't know where he get that from. <laughs> it was his dad's fault. That's what he look like. That's his fault. Don't even lie. Like, he really do look like you. Just like it. And it makes no sense. It's a reversion of it. And that one droopy left nut. They need to start their own podcast. Because, <laughs> listen. <laughs> I think they need to get on. <laughs> I think they call. need to I get on. <laughs> People would not understand our relationship. Let me at tell all. you something. This is how. <laughs> yo. <laughs> I think they. I. I really think they need to get a podcast. I don't think so. Yo. You probably the only people you know in this world are are four players fighting the rest. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I don't, my hopes and dreams, I don't want they, him to buy me roses or nothing like that. Like, I don't want they, none of that romance They ho- hugging the she and she running. Nigga, stand the behind bedroom. the door when I come in and attack me. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> you play the rapist, I play the rape victim. <laughs> no, don't put your head down now. Should put the camera on you for a little bit. Because <laughs> then you got to start it. <laughs> But this is nothing but love. <laughs> and I want y'all to just stay up, you know what I mean? Like, really just start looking into yourself, seeing where you can change yourself. Mm-hmm. 
You know what I mean? And then when you start seeing the things that you see that you really don't want to see, those are the things that you know are affecting you from being the person that you need to be. You have to break chains. You have to break generational Facts. curses. You have to. You can't keep doing it mama's way and grandmama's way because their way wasn't even always correct. Mm. Facts. Mm. We got to keep looking into ourselves. We got to keep w- moving forward. We got to keep showing each other that we are more powerful than what they think we are. Who created the equipment that we're using? Come on, man. Like, you got to think about the combs and stuff. Who created those things? Madam C.J. Walker, she had her own cream. You know, I can use Madam C.J. Walker right now because these hair just <laughs> these days. <laughs> but you get where I'm going like this. Yeah, it's a fact, though. This is where this is where we need to get back to and understanding who we really are as a person. You know, you know, it's not a black and white thing. It's not a green or purple or yellow thing. It's not that. Find out what's wrong with you that you don't like somebody else. Get into your own closet. Kick your skeletons around. Find mm. it. We all have to face ourselves. The person you got power of changing is you. Per- you can't change a person unless they want to change <clears throat> for themselves. You can't change nobody or nothing but you. And That's you're going to have to want it. Facts. It's so much more beyond what you see. But then you, at the end of the day, too, you still got to understand your change. Mm-hmm. Because once you change, people, places, things around you, they gotta change, change as well. So you can't say you change it, then you still hold on to them same things that was keeping you where you was at the first time. So you gotta understand whatever your change, your, your process is. Yeah, you gotta understand the process of it. Yep. <coughs> and when you know that God is the one that you call on the head that you hold on to, mm-hmm. that He know what the plan is, when you just trust Him. There's nothing going to stop you. Because that's who I trust with my life. Indeed. Can't nobody tell me nothing. Period. Period. I just had heart surgery. I live in Delaware. (coughs) I'm in VA. Two days later of getting out from the hospital. So I don't let nothing stop me from doing what I need to do. Because I want better. I see better. Mm-hmm. And becoming somebody is helping become some somebody else become better. Because there's so many people that we don't know that we inspire every day. People don't even know us and follow us. And when they see us, they look at us like celebrities or, you know, somebody special or somebody that they can trust. Because why? They are following you. Live in your truth. Live beyond your scars. We get deep, deep down. You know what I mean? Sometimes we have to laugh to get our past out from the things that hurt us. I laugh. We deliver ourselves. Everything in life. Everything. Sometimes you just got to cry it out. Yeah. Whatever you got to do to get it, get free, get free. You know? Sometimes you got to do the, the joker laugh cry I'll be thing honest with at you. the same time. I'll be putting posts up on, and this is why I know who who's with me, because they don't pay me no attention when I be putting up dumb posts and stuff. Because most of the time I'm sitting back laughing at myself for even putting up the posts. Literally. like, And I'll be hitting my girls up, talking about, go see that post, go see that post, because I'm laughing at myself, you know what I mean, for even putting up a, you know what I mean, That's a post. Cause people, people take social media, media a little too serious. Like, they just be... All in it, and they, that's why networking is moving right down the drain. They seen a post, they to judge your whole life. They told you about you, <laughs> yeah, bitch. I'd have been on your pictures. Yeah, I seen you. Your eyebrows was green. Like, your hair was fucked up. Like, yeah, I've been, I've been on your page, and they know everything about you, and they come at you like they know you, like for for why. Let's make that a new word for why. 
<laughs> but see, we don't even have to go that route anymore. Like, really, just mind your business. Just mind your business. Just mind your business. Yeah, they actually Facts. did. So, so like, cause I, I don't let it fuck with me. Yeah, I will laugh a nigga in no their face. And then they don't win. You know what I'm saying? So if you give it their attention that they throw out, it's all energy. So you gave them, well, you moment, gave them whatever power they wanted. It in, you know what I mean? Gotcha. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> you gave them whatever <laughs> power they wanted. You know what I'm saying? But that's how it is. That's a fact. And we all can grow from it. We all can grow from it. Who don't want to grow, though? Nigga, I've been growing all my life. Like, I be tall. Like, I can dunk and shit. Like, I've been growing all. Like, I'm tall as fuck. I've been growing all my life. You been in the clouds yet? Yes. Yes. Okay, I can touch the bottom of an airplane. See, I fly with eagles, so that's why I don't even worry about it. I be reaching shit for him. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> uh, yeah, this nigga was. But we can get out of here because I'm tired. <laughs> and I want to enjoy my family a little more. So, you know, hold on to somebody that you love and just let them know that you love them. Please do. Stop playing these games that y'all playing. Baby moms, if y'all want to get back with y'all baby daddies, stop being bitter and tell that nigga that you want them. Stop you feel what I'm saying? Car, stop put stop sugar doing. in his tank. Oh, that was just me. Wait, uh-uh, <laughs> that, that's happening today. The, man, they do everything. So, like, leave them alone. Like, if you're going to leave them alone, leave them alone. Leave them alone. If you're not going to leave them alone, then you know what I mean? Find something to do with your time. First of all, if a nigga not respecting you. Or your you, child. But if a nigga not respecting you, period, and treating you as the queen that you are, move the fuck on, period. There ain't no need. Period. Because one thing for sure, two things for certain, if you don't value you, they're not going to value, value you. you. If you don't set standards from the gate, you are letting that man do whatever he wants to you. Whatever he wants. And they can manipulate your mind, and you don't even know it because you out here thinking that you got it like that. But guess what? A person can only do to you what you allow them to do. So at some point, you got to take accountability. You were part of that problem. You, you allowed it. part of the problem. You allowed it. Love on these men this weekend. Show them that we do care. Show them that we already know that they have a target on their back when they go outside. So instead of us always nagging, how about we start nurturing them? See how their day was. See how everything went with them. Let's start tomorrow. But don't let them tell you no, because they don't love you. <laughs> they don't love you if they say no. Let Love on these men tomorrow. If you have one, love on them. That's a fact. Appreciate them. We got to bring Father's Day up just like Mother's Day is up. I don't care about that rubbish stuff for the courts, the white man, this, that, the other. I don't care about none of that. What I care about is these fathers and these kids. Real fathers. Standing up for the, you know what Not I mean? Not just donors. Don't don't <laughs> don't put the donors out there. Just to stand up for their kids because it's a lot of great men who Lots do of. have bitter moms, and there's a lot of great women who have bitter fathers. So at the end of the day, let these men love on these kids, Please. and let these kids love on their fathers. Change your feel, but like at the end of the day, it's not hurting you. Whatever relationship y'all had, whatever y'all deal with. He was good at one point in time because you were sitting spinning on it, honey. So put that bullshit aside and put your child first. Move your forward. child's feelings first because your, your child's going to grow up way more productive and, and with way more shit. They got both their parents in their life. But there's no way you can be the mother and the father. No. Stop that Let's toxic be real. Shit That's and, toxic. And when it, it comes to raising these kids and pull together. That's toxic. My grandfather had 13 kids in, in two different towns. And guess what? I ain't never seen my grandma outside rolling around in the yard with Miss Gladys or Miss Bernice or Miss So and So. I've never seen her. But I don't understand out there how the baby baby mothers mothers can't get along. Can't get along. I have a child with somebody else, and you know, his little sister calls me special mommy. 
and I adapt to her kids, and they call. You I know what I mean? We're special mommy. I retract my statement. <laughs> and you know, we stand up for each other. We come together for the kids. You know what I mean? We're making plans to do more things with them. So it's it's good to be friends with the other mother so that these kids can know who their brothers and sisters are. They should always get to know their siblings. Always. So let's let's come together. Like stop all the dumb childishness. It's it's time to come together. Cause y'all live in the see, I probably live in the same town. And you don't want your kids to get high school or out of high school and they start dating, cause that's gonna be a fucked up situation. When they come home with a baby that's like with a little bobblehead cross eyed kid, like <laughs> <laughs> they count with numbers, they like, I mean count with letters. So you you don't want to bring a little Cleophis home. <laughs> well, we can ready to get out of here. Again, my name is Kia. This is Petey. And keep on living beyond the stars. I heard that name in a while. <laughs> not heard that name in a long time. Keep living beyond your scars. You're beautiful. You're powerful. You're strong. You're unique. Mm-hmm. So if anybody it tells you anything different, believe in yourself first. Because only you got you like you can have you. Good night. Powered by Virginia. Radio. Radio.